This is April O'Neil, Ace TV reporter. We have an unreliable authority that you have something dark and evil brewing. Care to comment? That's it. No more. 60 minutes for you. It's not dark or evil, April. It's just dinner. Oh, really? And would you like to tell our studio audience the name of this alleged dinner? Turtle soup. Yuck! Sounds evil. Lord, you're just like your father. Heaven forbid you try something new. Can I cook? Sure. Careful now. You're always telling me to be careful. When can I take chances? When you're older. That's weird. What is, dear? The turtle soup is looking at me. Honey, there aren't any actual turtles in... Ah! What are they? What are they? Guys, the only way to stop them is to slice their heads off. Well, ain't that great news for the turtles with the blades. I told you there were turtles, Mommy. Always trust the reporter. April, be quiet. But what are those things they're fighting? The Stucktronics Mouser. My lab assistant, April O'Neil, will... April? April, that's your cue. I know this is just rehearsal for the press conference, but we want to get it right. I was... I was a little girl. Um, yes, April, I'm well aware of that. Why am I a lab assistant? Because I hired you? A decision I'm now starting to question. No, but I wanted to be a TV reporter. I... I was just a kid. What happened to... Our deal, Daddy. You said if I got the grades, I could pick the college I'd go to. That was before this journalism school nonsense. Spending your life changing tabloid news crap? Putting yourself in danger? Not in this life, April. Look, honey, your science aptitude tested off the charts. Anything short of MIT is a waste of material. How can you not want to be a scientist? But I do want to be a scientist. I changed my mind freshman year. What are you talking about, April? I... I don't know. Something's... something's wrong. Like, I'm here, and I'm not. Is it like when your life is flashing before you? Just before you die? Okay, April. Now you've totally lost me! What in the world?! These mousers are incredible. The servo mechanics, the circuitry, the articulation... Jeez, Donnie! Why don't you just marry one already? Mike! Donnie! Drive him this way! We'll slice and dice! No problem! Fortunately, I have a driving ambition! Forget the jokes and concentrate on leaving me one intact to study. Sorry, bro. No promises. It's happening again? Not again? Okay, April. We're doing it again. And this time, it's for real. So get it right. A wise man once said, Build a better mousetrap, and the world will beat a path to your door. I say, let the path beating begin. For I, Dr. Baxter Stockman, have designed the solution to this city's ever-growing rat problem. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the ultimate expression of rodent termination technology. The Stocktronics Mouser. My lab assistant, Miss April O'Neil, will now release five rats into the simulation chamber. April... Proceed, my dear. Now, observe the sheer genius of my mouser in action. The mouser's search and retrieval functions are all ingeniously controlled by a remote mother computer. Your boss is evil, you know. You... you don't know that. You're just a member of the studio audience. Sure I know it. You did too. You had to when you were watching the broadcast later on. When you said how great it was that... My friends, my family will finally see I really do work with the Baxter Stockman. You flatter me, Miss O'Neill. I like that. Did your computer just beep at you? Yes, I did. I'm running a routine diagnostic check, and that's strange. Half of the mouser prototypes aren't even transmitting. It's like they just vanished. Hmm. I'm sure it's nothing, April. Probably just a computer glitch. I'll have a systems tech go over it in the morning. But what if the mousers have been tampered with? We should go over all their transmission backups. That won't be necessary, April. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm expecting an important call from a very significant financial backer. That was the moment, wasn't it, April? The moment you knew something was wrong. That's why you listen on Mr. Stockman, isn't it? No. 
That's... No! It was an accident. It was... I wanted to discuss the computer discrepancies further. Right, right. That's why you wound up outside his door with your ear against it. The Mousers will be ready when I decide they're ready. Our first field test was a complete failure. I do not tolerate failure. Which is why you'd make a lousy scientist. The test was supposed to expose any possible design flaws. As a result, I've already upgraded the Mousers for greater durability. And I assure you, they will perform flawlessly for the next phase of the plan. They had better, Dr. Stockman. For your sake. Come on! You just know he's up to something nasty! You just have to... Hey! Good night, April, dear. Try not to work too late. You know I don't like to pay overtime. Good night, Dr. Stockman. Now, let's find out what kind of plan you've been cooking up with those mousers, Dr. Stockman. Alright! Scoop! We'll make a reporter out of you yet. First, boost up his computer and then- Shut up, you. You, me. Now, to scroll through his files. See if... Hmm... Never seen that icon before. I wonder what clicking on will- What the- April. You don't want to be doing this. Think about your future. My future? My future! This is my... No! No! E! It's out of order! Well, if the elevator's out of order, it's not safe. No, Mom. Not the elevator. My future is out of order. But you're right. It's not safe. Finally! I'm below even the sub-basement. What could Baxter probably have down here that's so... I don't care how bad the city's rodent problem is. This is serious overkill. Rat problem, my eye. What are you really up to? Now, now, Miss O'Neill. That would be telling. Suffice it to say, my army of mousers will make me a very rich and powerful man. But... but aren't you already, already a very, very rich, rich and powerful, powerful man? Ah, uh, Miss O'Neill. So brilliant, yet so naive. I will truly miss working with you. What? You mean I'm fired? In a manner of speaking. Yeah! I'm afraid I can't let you live, Miss O'Neill. You've seen far too much already. And, well, let's just say I have trust issues. So what's your story? Can you talk? Are you evil? Our viewers want to know. Yeah! No! I have to say, the symbolism here is very striking. Let's talk about your mother. Keep back! I know how to use this! You can run, Miss O'Neill, but you can't hide from my mousers! Mom? Dad? Mini-me? Weird turtle guys? Anybody? Which way out? Which way out? No, no! Eek! Chia! Cowabunk! Shut up! Okay, okay! Jeez, touchy! Oh! Oh, thank you! Thank you so much! You saved my... 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 Mm, wha, what? Take it easy. You fainted. And I think you had a fast dream to boot. Muttered about your parents. Oh my god, a dream. Of... of course! I should have known! So many elements, all jumbled. Dr. Stockman, a mad scientist. And geez, how could I thought there was something as ridiculous as Karate Turtles? We kind of prefer Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Just, you know, FYI. I can't deal with this. So, can I keep her? 